Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Lego X9 scooter. Uh, from the start you might say, well this is another Xiaomi clone. Well this isn't another Xiaomi clone and to tell you a bit of story for some time I have stopped reviewing and testing Xiaomi clones because they were terrible. Uh, so they would have not made any kind of sense because their price was similar with the original one so you always want the best quality so go with the original but this has attracted me because it's actually not a clone uh, it resembles a Xiaomi but has some huge differences and the first one is the rear suspension and yes this thing has a spring inside and some other tricks so stick around with me and let's see how this thing is Okay, so let's start with some specs. The motor is rated to 350 watts, uh, although it might be also sold in 250 watts, that's to be decided. The battery uh, can uh, come in uh, at least three different sizes, uh, 6 point something amp version, a 7.8 version just like the Xiaomi and uh, high quality cells something with lg cells inside and rated to 9.6 amp hours it's the same 36 volt system and with the higher capacity battery you can actually get more range than the original xiaomi scooter also you get a longer deck the xiaomi ends around here the original xiaomi you can see something in uh, a comparison in this uh, picture here and uh, then from uh, that point it's the same battery size actually inside almost the same it has this longer part here where the suspension is installed so you don't lose any kind of deck size or uh, any space from the battery chamber you actually get more space inside and a longer deck because it accommodates the wishbone the rear wishbone suspension arm and what's underneath that you are going to see it also has a similar disc brake system uh, the same fender and uh, the build quality it's uh, actually similar with the xiaomi it has the same locking the same screeching sound uh, it will probably need the silicone damper that is very popular uh, it also comes with a longer stem because the deck is uh, longer than when you fold this the stem must have the same length as the deck this uh, x9 also comes with other modifications such as the better bell which has the trigger system which is uh, better than the original xiaomi bell it also has uh, i don't know if you can see it because of my camera it has a speed display indicator so you don't need to mod your display on your xiaomi to get the pro display or something like that you have speed here you have the working modes and you also have the battery level all in leds and the speed is indicated with digits which is really nice you have similar push throttle acceleration but it uses another type of uh, sensor but uh, doesn't have any kind of issues regarding that and the best thing another good thing actually is the handlebar which is not foldable but it's not like the xiaomi one look at that just like magic you can unscrew the handlebars and you can make this fit in a much a smaller place than the xiaomi making it a lot more compact and i love this idea and it doesn't use any kind of crazy folding system uh, those that rattle and uh, when you ride the uh, scooter will make uh, a lot of noise and uh, feel unstable you just screw this 
you tighten it up it locks into place and you are good to go and here is the suspension system in all its splendor and it's really well designed as the wheel is hold on this uh, metal arms here and this will compress extend and the mud fender is also fixed with this metal arm that holds the wheel so the whole assembly moves together uh, so there's no wheel uh, hitting the mud guard it's a very good design and makes the ride very comfortable and because they added the suspension here this comes uh, stock with uh, a solid tire on the rear of course you can install uh, if you want even more comfort you can install the pneumatic tire but this is a rather good quality solid tire it has uh, big spaces inside so it has a bit of cushioning of the impact so that's good and I like the build quality also because on my previous clones they were horrible the wheels were uh, rattling the disc brake was bent the brake pads were touching well not on this scooter it simply works amazingly well with no issues the brake is adjusted perfectly it works really nice out of the box i haven't checked any kind of screws on it i haven't did anything to it just charge it and took it out for a ride and now I'm doing this video, so it works out of the box. The front part of the scooter is similar with the Xiaomi, so it doesn't have a lot of modifications. Although the tire is a tubeless tire, I don't know if they actually use the tablet system, uh, as it does seem to have a fixed valve here, and it doesn't seem to be a, a tube inside. Uh, I don't know, and I'm not going to take it apart now to check that, but the tire it's a different model and is rated to be installed as a tubeless tire so that's a good pro continuing with the build quality uh, they did some extra things here like using this uh, spiral red spiral to hold the wires together and use it here also they didn't use the small clamp in the middle like xiaomi does but uh, I actually like this, it's uh, well placed, I like the color combination, they even kept the red brake cable with the red uh, uh, fluorescent uh, reflective uh, adhesive pads here, so it's all good. They even use uh, the silicone uh, that holds the wires in place and it's good quality, it's very soft and holds the wire nicely I've seen this uh, pop out on other scooters on other clones well on this scooter they seem to hold really nice and they installed them everywhere um, the motor wire is a bit short but uh, uh, plenty of uh, it, when the wheel locks the cable is just getting to its maximum stretch position so it could have been just a bit more longer but not an issue because you almost never go full uh, lock steering and that's not such a big issue the folding mechanism is the same as the Xiaomi one so not a secret there on how to maintain it and how to adjust it the rear fender is just like the Xiaomi one and it will rattle and vibrate uh, probably you can install that modification you find on the internet with the 3d printed support or use a spoke from a bicycle and do a, take a small hole here and fix it so it will not rattle anymore uh, when you power this on the uh, red lamp here will constantly blink you cannot turn this on or off it just blinks like that and when you brake it will uh, stay on together with the scooter i have got a small uh, tool set here for checking the screws and adjusting them or doing uh, light repairs and of course the charger which is a uh, 1.5 amp charger so it's not a fast charger nor a very slow charger it's a decent charger and it's good to be that way other than that there's no manual there's no other instructions nothing Probably they are going to include uh, such things, but mm, it's not more that you need to know. It only has just one button to operate here and hold it on, turn it off, hold it on, turn it on. Uh, 
uh, double tap it changes the speed mode double tap it changes the speed mode and short press it will turn the LED in front the LED light and that also works fine and that's it uh, you don't have to adjust anything else so now let's uh, prepare for a test ride this uh, scooter doesn't have a bluetooth app it's optional uh, you can buy it with a bluetooth module so you can connect it to the app this is uh, without it so i'm going to use a gps application to record the speed of my ride uh, hopefully this will work properly so it's searching for signal and i'm recording all right so it has location and i'm going to disable screen rotation because i don't want it to mess up my video all right so we have full signal i'm going to put this here to record very good and let's see how this thing goes so i'm going to power it on you have a confirmation sound which is nice and let's hop on and it does make a bit of noise and you know this sound is the Xiaomi sound with no damper and no proper adjustment but not an issue I've grown uh, fond of that sound already whoa but this is so nice on this and the way you can shift your weight forward or toward the rear part of the scooter so if you stay on the lower part of the deck it's more comfortable and this is so nice going over the bumps the front wheel is pneumatic and it does absorb some of the shocks but the rear wheel even if it's a solid tire makes this so nice to ride and now that we are done with the bed road let's do some uh, speed test so I have speed here on the display and it seems to be uh, accurate it doesn't overestimate the speed so I'm doing such something like 22 kilometers now and I'm going slightly uphill 23 so this is good cruise control has kicked in maneuverability is very good and I like how the tall handlebar feels and now let's try the same run going downhill on the same incline let's see now will it get more speed so 23 24 25 and it's jumping to 26 and immediately it's showing 25 again so i believe this thing is limited to 25 just like the xiaomi model and it also has electric brake and it's uh, uh, very nicely made so they adjusted the hand the handbrake here on the first part of the travel it actually doesn't touch the disc so if I hold it like that I can push it easy but it will activate the motor brake and that's how it should work that's how you should do it and it works very good so if you want to brake gently and uh, regen some power you just slightly touch the brake handle and that's only the electric stopping me it's not the disc it's not the brake pads and that's very good because it's less maintenance for the rear brake and uh, you have better control and now it's time for my hill climb test 
and uh, on this hill most of the scooter will struggle to get to 15-16 km per hour most will do less so I'm going to start from standstill just where the hill starts to be really steep and I'm going to give it full throttle and I already got 14 km per hour 13 12 11 10 9 8 so it doesn't go uphill too good 7 all right and now it should start to accelerate after this bumper because the hill is getting less inclined so yes doing 10 11 12 and it's starting to get speed and you can hear the motor so it's kind of limited when you are going uphill and now let's do the downhill test and let's see if this is uh, limited like the cares on the N365 so I'm doing 25 and it doesn't want to do more than 25 barely made it to 26 and then fell down to 25 so no it will not go faster than that that's truly limited by the controller man and I love the electric brake on this it's really really good it's actually very strong you can hear it you can hear the motor when you brake just listen to that it makes a humming noise and I like it you know that you are electrically braking when it does that noise and it has really good balance even with this uh, very tall stem and there's no wobble uh, I did uh, some uh, tests with other scooters that uh, have a longer deck and longer stem and uh, they were kind of wobbly when uh, going faster it, it, they did give you the impression that they are not made from one single piece of metal or uh, not very well bolted together well this doesn't uh, give me that impression and let's do a bunny jump there and who cares I have suspension now and even on this uh, part here it's so nice and let's jump it whoa that was good felt so good another uh, thing that I have noticed on this scooter and it's different from the Xiaomi it's uh, uh, the acceleration so when you press the acceleration hard and fast it seems not doing anything as you can see it's barely doing something so it has a delay and then the acceleration it's a kind of uh, soft start acceleration so it accelerates progressively but then it gets to speed faster and faster so it's kind of uh, I don't know what to say exponential or things like that so it starts slow almost nothing and then gets faster and faster as you keep the accelerator pressed so it's kind of a progression and uh, the cruise control also works nice but you need to keep it very steady uh, to lock it in uh, the speed that you want as moving it just like on the Xiaomi will fail to acquire the desired speed and it will not enter in uh, that mode but you can do it and it's so stable that uh, I feel that I could 
almost uh, let go of both of my hands with it but I'm not going to do it I don't recommend it but at least with one hand there's no problem uh, it's actually more stable than uh, other scooters that I have rode on uh, recently and I like it all right so on the display on uh, flat ground flat out cruise control 23 24 22 kilometers per hour so it's not a uh, 25 like on the Xiaomi but it's a similar speed uh, keep in mind that this is uh, a bit more heavy than the Xiaomi due to the fact that it has the additional deck length and it has the suspension the spring and so on so it's more complicated has more parts more metal so it's heavier and you can also get this with a larger battery making it even more heavy but uh, it's still a decent uh, light scooter and very good for commuting and city use So it's time for the pros and the cons now and as you've seen the suspension is wonderful it really works uh, very good the electric brake on the front motor also works really nice the disc brake is very well adjusted from the factory so first the electric motor will brake and if you need more braking power and you are going to squeeze the brake handle then the disc will brake and that's really really nice it's how it should work on all scooters not simultaneously but progressively first electric then mechanical uh, other pros the build quality is rather nice so they did the, went the extra mile with all that uh, wire wrapping and stuff like that cons are mostly the cons that you have on the xiaomi so the rear mudguard will uh, uh, flounder away and the locking mechanism there will make a terrible screeching noise just like on the xiaomi so it's not related to this uh, model it's mostly related to the original design and otherwise i cannot find any faults beside the speed which is limited to 25 but the acceleration is slower than the xiaomi and when you get the battery down to around 50 percent like it's now top speed will uh, lower to around 22 kilometers per hour so it's a bit slower but definitely a lot more comfortable so that was it for now i hope that you have enjoyed this review be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, where i'm going to publish more scooter reviews and i'll till then see you and bye bye